Hey everyone, and welcome back. Uh, for those of you who are new here, um, my name's Anthony, and this channel is dedicated to exploring the science behind tinnitus and other conditions, such as noxacusis and hyperacusis. Today we have several important updates and announcements. Firstly, as you may have noticed, um, I've rebranded the channel with a fresh new look, uh, with a new logo and banner. I'd like to extend my sincerest thanks to David Vance for his incredible design work. I did change up the um, banner a little bit, um, you know, to add kind of a more science-y flair. Might not look that good from a design perspective, but I think it encompasses the uh, channel quite well. Now, David is a member of our community, and I'm going to link his uh, wonderful awareness page, DV Awareness, in the uh, channel description and in the comments below. If you have a Facebook account, definitely do consider joining it. Now, the decision to rebrand the channel uh, kind of stemmed from a desire to shift the focus of the channel towards a more positive and scientifically grounded approach. Uh, now, I will... Uh, we will occasionally address uh, misconceptions, but uh, the primary goal is to provide educational content, um, updates on the usage of various treatments, and the, to share the latest research and advancements. Now, I've probably noticed that I've started referring to the channel as we, and uh, that is because, well, I would not have been able to do what I have done without the overwhelming support and help of the Tindus Labs community and uh, specifically the Discord. There are numerous people besides myself who have devoted a large portion of their lives to uh, studying the complexities of these conditions. Not only tinnitus, hyperacusis, and noxacusis, but we also discuss and share research on reactive tinnitus, um, you know, visual snow syndrome, dysacusis, distortions, hormonal issues, tonic tensor tympani syndrome, eustachian tube dysfunction, basically anything. Now, in personal news, I've decided to continue my education and pursue a PhD in autoneurology. That's right, I will be able to call myself doctor. Now, as a part of my thesis on spike timing dependent plasticity, which I have chosen to be the main focus of it, I'm conducting trials with my own version of the Susan Short device. Although I don't think I can even call it a Susan Short device anymore, um, as I've made some pretty significant changes to it to improve the efficacy even further. Um, but that's what people know, so I'm gonna continue calling it that. Now, if I can demonstrate competency in front of a commission, my thesis may be fast-tracked. This is also keeping in mind the fact that I have numerous contacts in the medical industry as well in my country. Um, however, I will not be engaging in clinical practice at this time because my focus remains solely on scientific research. Maybe in the future I will, but for now, no. Overall, basically, uh, I want to make the channel an inclusive and welcoming space, both for new and returning viewers. Uh, we're going to aim to foster a learning community where individuals can share knowledge and support each other. Uh, also, I'm going to be including some YouTube shorts format uh, to spread the word even further. Now into other exciting news, we have another wonderful update on the uh, usage of a DIY Susan Shore device. Now one member of my community, as you can see up on the screen, now I know that I made a community post with this, but I thought that this update was important enough to include in a separate video. As you can see, as he finished the full six weeks of treatment, his hyperacusis is 90% gone. Uh, his tinnitus reactivity is completely gone. And also, his tinnitus volume is a 2.5 out of 10 on average. So I would say that those are pretty big results, especially considering, you know, six weeks of usage, you can always use it longer than that. So, yeah, really excited about this. More videos will be coming soon. I have another one planned about mechanical cofactors, which I think are very, very important. Um, so keep your eyes open for that. And that's about it for today. Peace.